All stand for the Honorable Judge Riley. Case number 542 times 10 to the 32nd divided by E to the half. Promise people for writing goodly versus Samuel Clemens, a.k.a. Mark Twain. Order. Order. Case number 5.2 times 10 to the 32nd divided by E to the point five. Pompous people for writing goodly versus Samuel Clemens, a.k.a. Mark Twain. Mr. Clemens, you've been charged with racism, not using good grammar, ranting, and general crimes against literature. How do you plead? Uh, not guilty. Uh, prosecution goes first, right? I'd like to call Mr. Clemens to the stand. Uh, Mr. Twain, is it true that in Huck Finn you use a certain derogatory N-word 215 times? Yes, in order to probably demonstrate the... Uh... Thank you. Is it also true that the grammar used in the novel is not good? Yours isn't. I have one question. Is it true that in the novel you speak poor grammar and use the N word? Yours isn't either, but as I was explaining, I do mine for a reason, in order to demonstrate a, a society's impact on Huck and how Huck is a part of society, I need to include the, the real dialects that people use and racism. After all, don't I need to include racism if we're going to make a Thank you. Isn't it true that in connecting in, in King Arthur's court and other novels you have written, you break the narrator's concern in order to rant about social injustice? Is that a bad thing? Ranting is stuff is what I do in all my books. That's kind of the point of them. Uh, I mean, in connecting in technology, slavery, and society in general. Anyway, I'm really not a novelist. I just know how to throw stuff together to make a, a good story to, so, and make a point. Prosecution of us, your witness. Before you were so rudely interrupted, you said you had a funny story. Please explain. Well, you see, enough of the war, I didn't know what sun time, but eventually, uh, a north word it came, it came up. Eventually, it said certain meaning. So, I don't know, I said, I'll see blood on the door of the northern. He told, he, he, uh, he actually convinced me to fight for the south, saying that I was being disloyal to my home state. I didn't really know what's happening. First of all, my story never had succeeded. And second of all, the guy was trying to be used. So why would he want me to fight for the north? But he was very convincing. So I head back, so I head back down south. And on the way, I met a southerner. This southerner told me that, that, that I should fight for the north, that I was being disloyal to, to the union. Uh, and, uh, and these United States of America. So he was also very convinced so I head up north. And when it happened a third time, I didn't really know what to do. I was very confused, so I head back home and I did what everyone else was doing. I, fought, I joined a Confederate militia. So, so, oh, that didn't really last uh, too long anyway. I was only there for two, two, two months. I got bored and decided to go look for gold out west. I wrote about my adventures in, in, in the army in, in a book called The Event. Private history of the campaign that failed. Uh, the possible new race, you aren't one because. Well, my writing, especially the adventure of the hungry and thin, good, we call him as a witness. Well, couldn't you let me finish? No. Why? Isn't it true that you raised $100,000 and take me to take the same issue that doesn't work? It'll work. No. What does that have to do with anything? Just ask me. Stop arguing with yourself and sit down. Our uh, court adjourned for tomorrow.
Court is now in session. Resuming case number 5.2 times 10 to the 32nd divided by E.5, Pompous People for Writing Goodly versus Samuel Clemens, a.k.a. Mark Twain. Did you help him escape? Well, Mr. Twain, I decided to help Jimmy at the most sinky. I knew I would go to hell for, for helping him and that I was wrong, but I couldn't abandon him. He was, he was my friend. What do you think um, is far me to correct you? Sometimes I get the feeling that I'm based off your childhood experiences or something. In the novel, do you ever attack the institution of slavery? I ain't no low-down abolitionist. Is this because of um, the morals that this is still in you by a hypocritical pro-slavery society that you are only able to partially escape through your time as Jim? I don't know any of the fancy book learning thinking. All I know came from my experiences of the river and what the Weedle Douglas taught me. Thank you, your witness. I've never all that learned, and I might have something to do with what Mr. Twain was saying about him being a product of society. See, I want to institute democratic reform it into, into the ridiculous monarchical ways of, the, of mi medieval England. See, I planned on uh, educating people and abolishing slavery and other such things. And I, and I had a place running in a month, run, uh, run, running my way in a month. See, they're all idiots. I, all I do is pretend I was a magician, and they all believe me. A bunch of morons. I, see, people are progress so much. Uh, uh, that's enough. I really don't want to know what. Um, uh, I really don't know why I called you uh, to the stand. It's almost as if Christmas is my license to the kids. It almost seems like I'm just trying to get information out there about me, like this is for some sort of 12th grade English project. I attempted this to reform in the ridiculous monarchy of ways of the English. I wanted to bring my social and economic revolution through um, to democracy, botching slavery, and educating people. See, these people were idiots. They believed whatever they were told because they, they were simply stupid. You see, they were so stupid that they believed me. They, I, I was able to trick them to see I was a machine. I had a place running in a, my way in a month. I was not... Uh, <clears throat> what happened? Well, the stupid Catholic Church place to interdict in England. And, and before, uh, so we had to take him out. You see, see, using my advanced technology and brilliance, I was a, able to kill 20,000 of their knives, which Gatlin guns, electric fences, everything. It was amazing. You should have seen it. The carnage was unbelievable. I'm just per that great. You, you see, that's why Amer Americans. That's why. <laughs> Would you be surprised if I told you, yeah. Um, it was meant as social satire. Come on, but there was a small problem. You see, I, I, I took mercy while I went out there. I had to wind up being stabbed. It was, it was a mistake, and then I died later. And, but that's not important. What is important is I was able to run that place and kill 20,000 people. Well, sort of. Actually, I really was trying to criticize both um, both present and past society, as, as well as the lack of progress over time. Hey, how can you say all those horrible things? Sandy, um, uh, it, 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 they were, it was a spell. I, I'm trying to check something. You see, I was playing along, but really, what was going on is I was casting countless spells to their spell, so.
Well, free to go.